So if you've been following our bus journey from the beginning, you've probably noticed that it is very heavily inspired by the Netflix show, Outer Banks. The first video that we ever made was literally a parody of the intro. But we were in New York, in about a foot of snow. Well, here we are on our way to South Carolina right now, and the real Outer Banks is in North Carolina, but a lot of the scenes were filmed in Charleston, South Carolina, so that is where we're headed today. But right now, we're in Virginia. Why do I do all the intros to some cheese videos? That's a good question, but... This is my channel. I'm taking over. This is my channel. I don't know if Andrew, Andrew literally doesn't said care. The intro. Anyway, welcome back, Sun Chasers. We are in Richmond, Virginia. Take a look. This part's not that grand. <laughs> Sorry to keep walking. We are meeting with our good friend Andrew McMahon once again. He's here, right down that street. We're gonna go hang out with him for a little while, get some coffee, and attend his concert tonight. We just got back from having a really fun night with Andrew McMahon last night in Richmond, Virginia. And today we are in Charleston, South Carolina. There's something in the water flapping over there. Those oysters. I don't even know what an oyster looks like, I'd like to be honest. It's like a little, like a shell with like blob in it, right? And you kind of like, it's, like it's like a booger in a shell. I can't even look at it. It's got like little like- Oysters. Like the little white things that are like, ah! It's got like holes, like these little things are like poking up through the sand. It's really gross. We actually just got done finishing tiny house tours, so keep an eye out for that. They took us to this really cool bridge. There's like no one out here. It's actually really peaceful out here. Moments before the tiny house tour, we're literally running late, and this little guy steps in dog poop literally right before the tour and walked inside the mats. I was scrubbing dog poop off of uh, these little gems over here, and he almost just did it again. <laughs> Look. Let's go see some Outer Bank stuff. What up, dog? The bridge that we were just on, it, it actually didn't go anywhere. The end of it was gated off, so we had to just back up off the bridge. We made it. Didn't hit anything. So we thought finding these swimming locations was going to be easy, but they literally used so many different places for the show. Some of the articles we found were literally like, look, this white picket fence was what Sarah Cameron climbed on. Just... So we picked a few of our favorites and decided to check them out. This bridge was used to film on when they crossed into town. I forget what episode it was, but here's a bridge. Up first, we found the wreck. This is on Shems Creek, and this is where you'll find Kiara's family's restaurant and Hope's dad's seafood business. <laughs> so behind us is actually Kiara's parents' restaurant in the show, but uh, it's the back of it. Kind of looks like there's like a little private party going on right now, so we're gonna we're gonna let them do their thing. On to the next one. So you know that like old lady's house where they find the treasure in the well. Spoiler alert! I don't know. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. Oh well. <laughs> this is the creepy old lady's house, like the, the haunted, I think it's the one that had the well in the basement. The old lady with the shotgun. <laughs> it's funny, cause like the whole top half of the house was actually added in with CGI. In, in the show, it's like up on like a hill, like completely secluded. It's literally in the middle of the town. I'm pretty sure in the show that it jumped over this wall too. <laughs> Kind of cool. So this is what I was most excited to see and that was Tanny Hill, Sarah Cameron's house. So I've officially found my dream house. I don't think I can buy it, but it's kind of blowing me away. This house is actually known as a wedding venue known as Londis Grove. Can't really go any further though. There's a fence. So I'm pretty sure it's a wedding venue. In the, in the show, this was her house. And to even have a wedding here would be like a dream come true. And then the, let's go look at the view across the road. This is what you, this is the view. So it's pretty amazing. So this dock out here, I'm pretty sure is one of the docks that like they literally used so many times in the actual show when like all the kooks and, or all the pogues are hanging out. But it's another sad realization because like it's in the show, they're all hanging out, they're having a great time. But uh, in real life, it's like private property. You can't go out there. Let's get some friends down here and let's go have a marg on the, on the, all the pigeons are out there hanging out, but paradise on earth. Do you think there's alligators in this water? 
So there's a ton of locations that we did not get to see. We didn't get to check out like the hotel, the tower John B fell off of, the sheriff station, Carla Limbray's house. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let us know if you guys want us to go back and do an exploration. So if you wonder where we've been staying in Charleston, it's actually this spot right here. We've been able to park here for a couple of nights. We actually found the parking spot on Hip Camp hosted by Suzanne and she's an artist. She's incredible. I love the work that she does. She actually has a really cool studio. The streets are a little tight, but uh, she was able to squeeze us in. We got water and power hookup and everything. So uh, it's been great though, because we've been able to take our bikes like down to the city and kind of just come back here. So it's not far from the city at all. It's probably a five minute bike ride. So if you guys are looking to stay in a super cool artsy town, this is the spot. So hit her up on Hip Camp. Welcome back to another Coffee Time with Time. And this one's going to be a good one, so. We are currently at Franklin's. Is it just called Franklin's? I think it's just Franklin's. Franklin's in Savannah, Georgia. Let's see how it is. We are waiting for our food to be done. So I've been holding this cup of coffee, not tasting it for the past like 20 minutes. So I'm really excited. This is a cinnamon dolce iced latte. They had a ton of flavor syrups, but they were at the front of the counter. And I didn't realize that until we got up there. So cinnamon dolce, here is nothing. <laughs> what are you chewing on? Ice? Ice cube. That's insane. That is so good. We're gonna go, go 8.5. You guys are amazing. This is fantastic. Also, tree for you. Don't know what it is, but it looks cool. The menu did look pretty good. Uh, there's a couple different options, but there was a croissant sandwich that was on the menu, so I feel like I just kind of had to do that. Um, as you know, I'm a lover of croissants, so let's pop this thing open. Let's see what we got. Look at that. That thing looks wow. There's a bit of arugula on there. I'm gonna give this thing a shot. Honestly, already, the smell of it kind of reminded me of like the crew sandwich because of that arugula. Oh wow, that is a good sandwich. So when we started this whole breakfast sandwich review, this is what I was chasing. This is, this is what I was looking for, the croissant sandwich chaser. I'm rebranding re our, our brand from Sun Chasers to breakfast sandwich chaser. I'm like thinking in my head like, I haven't eaten all day, so it's just, just better tasting right now if I, I put something else in my stomach. I'm gonna give it a 8.8. .8. This is a good sandwich. The arugula, a little bit of tomato on there. My brother wouldn't like it because of the tomato, but he can go kick rocks because that really, uh, really adds to it. <laughs> do with your brother. All right, we're done here. So we picked a few of our favorites and we decided to check. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> When in doubt, always turn around to go back to your bus when you need something. We're walking to the beach. I got my snack pack, my glasses, I'm ready to go. But uh, we realized we didn't have a blanket. And we're gonna be joining a phone call and I didn't have my AirPods either. But we're still right here, so make the turn around. When in doubt, go back to the bus. Or your home, if you don't have the bus. <laughs> 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 